Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're diving into the vibrant culture of the Czech Republic, a gem nestled in the heart of Europe. Stick around till the end to discover the unique stories, rich traditions and intriguing facets that make the Czech Republic an unparalleled destination in Europe. With its landlocked location in Central Europe, the Czech Republic has a varied topography containing mountain ranges, forests, plains and fertile basins. Major rivers and natural resources shape settlement patterns and industry in this nation of 30,000 square miles. The Czech Republic is divided into three main geographic regions. Bohemia in the west contains the capital Prague along with forests, rolling hills and plateaus. Moravia in the southeast is home to vineyards, mineral springs and the Morava River Valley. Czech Silesia borders Poland and features the Oder River Basin. The Czech Republic's landscapes include mountainous borders and low interior basins. The Sudetes Mountains along its northern edge contain the Krkonosi Range. The Bohemian Forest defines the southwestern border. The Bohemian Moravian Highlands bisect the interior plains. Major rivers are the Elbe, Vltava and Morava, which flow to the North, Black and Baltic Seas. The Bohemian Forest is the source of these rivers. Large reservoirs created by damming include Lipno Dam and Orlik Dam. Natural lakes are less prominent. The World Bank estimates that the Czech Republic is home to a population of 10.6 million, comprising different ethnicities, languages and religious beliefs. Czech national identity has evolved through the nation's complex history. The majority ethnic group in the Czech Republic are Czechs, comprising about 64% of the population. Other major ethnic groups include Moravians, Slovaks, Poles, Germans, Hungarians, Ukrainians and Vietnamese. Since World War II, the Czech Republic has been largely ethnically homogenous due to events like the expulsion of Germans. Historically, the Czech lands were predominantly Roman Catholic going back centuries. Today, Catholics make up about 21% of the populace. A large portion of Czechs are irreligious, around 34%. Protestant groups like Hussites and Czech Brethren trace their origins to the 15th century. Other representations include Eastern Orthodox and small Jewish communities. The Czech language is part of the West Slavic family and is native to about 90% of citizens. It is closely related to Slovak. English is spoken as a second language by many Czechs. Czech cuisine features flavorful, hearty dishes that reflect the regional abundance of meat and vegetables. Complex seasoning and cooking techniques blend with rustic ingredients in signature Czech foods and recipes. This national dish, also called roast pork with dumplings and cabbage, combines tender pork, fluffy needle dumplings and sauerkraut or stewed cabbage. Seasonings like caraway, thyme and garlic add flavor. It provides comforting flavors. Moravian Sparrow is a sweet yeast pastry filled with almond paste, dried fruit and topped with vanilla custard. It gets its name from looking like a little bird. Sweet baked goods are typical in Czech cuisine. Sirloin beef marinated in vegetables and cream is served with a rich carrot, celery and cream sauce, garnished with cranberries and lemon. This elegant dish is a Czech specialty. This green dill sauce incorporates cream and eggs into an herbaceous creamy condiment for meat or dumplings. Dill's tangy freshness flavors many Czech dishes. Czech food celebrates local crops and artisanal techniques, from roasted meats and creamy sauces to indulgent pastries. Hearty yet refined, Czech cuisine showcases savory and sweet comfort food traditions. During the 6th century, Slavic tribes migrated into the region, establishing settlements. In the 9th century, the Great Moravian Empire emerged as a major Slavic state controlling the area. After its decline, the Kingdom of Bohemia rose to prominence in the 10th century under the Premislid dynasty. During the 14th century reign of Charles VI, the Bohemian Kingdom experienced a golden age of prosperity and cultural achievement. In the 16th century, Bohemia came under the control of the Habsburg monarchy. This began centuries of Habsburg rule over the Czech lands. The Czech Republic was devastated by the Thirty Years' War in the 17th century, suffering widespread destruction and depopulation. As part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in the 19th century, the Czech lands underwent industrialization and gave rise to national consciousness. Calls for independence from the empire grew stronger. After World War I and the fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the independent nation of Czechoslovakia was established in 1918. 
However, in 1938 the Munich Agreement allowed Nazi Germany to annex the northern part of Czechoslovakia with the remainder of the country occupied by Germany in 1939. Czechoslovakia was liberated from Nazi occupation after World War II, returning as a state in 1945. In 1989, the peaceful Velvet Revolution ended communist rule in Czechoslovakia. This ushered in free elections and democracy. Ultimately, Czechoslovakia dissolved peacefully on January 1, 1993 into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Since then, the Czech Republic has joined NATO and the European Union, developing a stable, free market economy and consolidating its democracy. The Czech Republic has a developed export-oriented economy and high living standards. As part of former Czechoslovakia, early industrialization and communist central planning shaped its economy before transitioning to a free market system. As of 2022, the World Bank estimates that it is a around 290 billion US dollars. Czechoslovakia nationalized industry after World War II and instituted central planning. This enabled rapid industrialization and economic growth into the 1960s. However, inefficiencies emerged by the 1980s. After the Velvet Revolution ended communism, the Czech Republic implemented privatization, currency reforms and reduced subsidies in the 1990s transition to capitalism. Today the Czech Republic has an advanced open market economy. Leading sectors include automobiles, machinery, electronics and chemicals. Major companies include Skoda Auto, Foxconn and Agrofert. Services and high-tech industries have grown. Prague is an important business hub. The Czech Republic has high exports per capita, totaling over 80% of GDP. It relies on exports to Germany and other EU members. Foreign investment also spurs economic activity. However, income inequality has risen post-communism. The Czech National Revival was a movement in the 18th and 19th centuries that promoted Czech language, culture and identity against Germanization efforts under the Habsburg Austrian Empire. In literature, the National Revival inspired works by Czech writers like Karel Hinek Macha, Bozena Nemkova and Karel Jaromir Erben, who collected Czech folktales. The era saw renewed interest in Czech myths and legends as sources of national pride. In music, Bedrik Smetana incorporated Czech history, legends and landscapes into his symphonic poems like Ma Vlast, My Homeland, which includes the famous Vltava section evoking Bohemia's main river. Antonin Dvorak also took inspiration from Czech idioms and folk music like in his Slavonic dances. The National Revival influenced architecture with renewed interest in styles seen as uniquely Czech like Baroque and Gothic, as well as Czech Cubism later on. Czech Gothic architecture like St. Vitus Cathedral left a legacy. Notable painters include Alphonse Mucha, famous for Art Nouveau posters, and František Kupka, who pioneered abstract art. Sculptors like Otto Gutfreund advanced modernist sculpture. Overall, the era was critical for re-establishing Czech cultural assets and national consciousness after centuries of Habsburg dominance, setting the stage for an eventual independent Czech state. If you enjoyed this video on the Czech Republic, you'll love this next one.